Hey guys, this is Pierre from Can-Am, SpiderAccessories.com and welcome to the Spider Shop. In today's video, we're going to be installing a trailer hitch harness for an F3T F3 Limited Can-Am Spider. This installation video is good for the F3T F3 Limited, all the way from 216 to recent, so 221 and 222. Two. The reason I say that is that where we're going to be running the wire is exactly the same on all bikes. Whether it's a T or a limited, whether it's 216 or 221, it makes no difference. One difference and only one difference is going to be on the trailer hitch harness itself. So on most recent bikes, 2018 and up, we're going to have a 16 pin like this here. And on the other ones, 216 and 217, whether it's a T, whether it's a limited, top case, no top case, doesn't matter. It's gonna be a 12 pin. That's the only difference. A little word of encouragement. The, <laughs> the installation of these trailer hitch harnesses on that bike is actually the easiest from all the Canon Spiders. I'm gonna show you two ways of doing the installation or more finishing the installation. The reason I say that, it depends if you're gonna be using that trailer that you're gonna be pulling behind your Canon Spider full time or only part time or a couple of times a year. So if you're only gonna be using it a few times, you may not wanna have the trailer hitch harness along the trailer hitch. There's nothing pretty about a trailer hitch harness that runs its way along uh, the trailer hitch itself. So if you're not going to be using a trailer very often, we're going to go one way. And if you're almost always leaving the house with the trailer, we're going to go another way. Okay, so I'm underneath the F3 Canem Spider right now. I'm lay on my side, and this is a saddlebag on the left-hand side. So I've got my camera, I'm leaning on my side. I'm gonna go underneath the saddlebag to show you the installation I did. So the installation I chose was to have a full-time, my trailer hitch harness on the trailer hitch. As you can see there, it runs itself on the inside. It's got a zip tie here, but it comes from right here underneath the saddlebag and just to, you know, have you situated, this is the rear of the saddlebag right here, and see the wiring is right there. So if we're gonna have it full time, this is where we're gonna be running down. But if you're gonna have it only part time, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna make the wire harness finish here. And you're gonna, instead of having this, you're gonna run the wire from your trailer all the way here and plug underneath here. So it's gonna give you a nice clean look on the trailer hitch harness, uh, on the trailer hitch itself. If you've never removed the passenger seat on your F3 Can-Am Spider, what you're gonna do is you're gonna be using your key. You're gonna push down on the key. And once you've pushed down, you feel it going down about, you know, an eighth of an inch or so, maybe a little bit more, you're gonna turn that key towards the right-hand side and you're gonna hear a click. That's the release on that passenger seat. You're gonna take two hands, one on each side, and lift up and towards the front. I like to also remove the rider's seat. It gives me better access and then I make sure I can see everything. If you don't want to do it, don't do it, but if you do it, it may make things a little bit easier. To be able to do that, you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket and I'm using an impact drill, and to be able to reach in there, I've got an extension on my drill. You're gonna have two bolts to remove. You've got one right here, and you can see the other one is right there. So that's why you need an extension to be able to get in there properly. A little trick for you, when you're removing these two bolts here, I leave them in there. I don't try to pull them out straight away. The way it's made and with the extension being all the way at the bottom there, if you try to pull on it, usually you'll just drop it down and then it becomes a mess. So I just, once I've unscrewed it, I leave it there. When I pull out the seat, I just try to keep everything level and then my two bolts stay there, I don't lose anything. 
So the plug and play harness goes on the right hand side of the Canon Spider. It's right there. See that? And the reason we removed it is that it's, you know, a little bit way in there and the seat's already here. So you have to get your fingers in there sometimes to be able to pull it out. So that's why I removed the, pa uh, the rider seat. So what you're going to do is you're simply going to unplug it. You're going to take your plug and play harness, plug it in one side and then plug it on the other side. And this is what you're going to be left with. All right. So as you can see, I've run my wiring harness on this side. If you've got a seat, you can see how I've done that as well. And you can see where we're going to be going down. I'm going to switch to the other side. So plug and play is on this side, but you need to send everything to the left hand side. As you're coming over on the left hand side of the bike, all right, so giving you a view of the side of the bike so you can understand. I'm actually holding the camera really close to my eye. So this is what you're going to be seeing, right? This is what I see. <laughs> this is what you're going to see. So as we're coming over, we're leaning forward and we're trying to almost look down at our toes. See, my toes are there, but see the wire harness? This is where it goes. So you're going to be able to see daylight here. So all you have to do is you take that wire with a four pin flat and drop it down there and then lean on your side and start pulling on the exceeding uh, on all that excess wiring okay so once again i'm laying on my side right next to the bike here so i got my left shoulder on the ground see the wire is here see my hand here hello see it's there so i've pushed it down like this and this is where it's coming down and then what you're going to do is that along the side here underneath the saddle bag let me try to get in there all right so right here was my finger okay right here on the side of this plastic here i just took a little bit of a i took a drill with a 516 inch drill bit let me get my light in there oops all right and i see that zip tie there there's one here towards the rear of the saddlebag trying to give you a perspective here and i made myself a hole so i can put a zip tie i use some split loom to make it nice here and I made another hole right here. And I used another zip tie here to be able to tack it underneath the saddle bag. Now, this is this plastic you can use as well. See how that's, you can drill here, you can drill here, but be careful, don't drill here because you're gonna put a hole right through the saddle bag and you're gonna get water. But these plastics here can be used for that, just to make a little hole and give you a place to tack your wire okay now if you're going to finish it here because you're not going to use your trailer very often make sure that the four pin flat is right here and then you're going to put your zip tie here zip tie here and all the excess wire you're going to push up and then go underneath the seat and then put all the excess wire here if you're going to run it all the way to the back i've chosen to go on the inside here because it looks cleaner so I've decided to go on the inside, on the inside there, and there's my four pin flat that finishes right there. So that project didn't take long. It's about a 20 minute project, nice and easy. Some of the time you're gonna be investing is to make sure you have a nice clean look to it. So if you decide to run all the way to the back of the hitch, make it nice, maybe use some split loom. So that's where you're gonna be investing some of your time, just in the fish, finishing touch. And if you want it, finishing uh, underneath your saddlebag, then you're gonna invest a little bit of time because you're gonna have more wiring to tuck in underneath your passenger seat. And that's where you're gonna be spending the time to make sure you close everything nice and neatly at the end. On this, I just wanna say a big, big thank you for encouraging us at the Canem Spider Shop. We are canamspideraccessories.com that's canamspideraccessories.com i ask one favor if you like these videos and this has helped you out and you need a trailer at china as well you know go see this guy go see canamspideraccessories.com and shop with us we would really appreciate that on that being said thank you very much guys have a wonderful riding season